everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Gabriella and I am a full-time content creator based here in New York City in this video I'm gonna talk to you about all things hot pot and also hosting a dinner party at home for your friends or your families and also a few dinner hosting tips and tricks that I've learned from over the years as well so if you're into this type of content then it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button and also press subscribe so you're up to date with all of my future videos okay so first things first what is hot pot so hot pot is typically done during the winter months when it's really cold outside. You would usually have hot pot with your friends and your family and everyone is typically sitting around a table. In the middle of the table there is a simmering pot of broth and surrounding it is a bunch of raw meats, raw veggies, seafood, um, and different types of starches as well. Essentially what happens is everyone takes whatever they want to eat and they dip it into the broth and let it cook. And then once it's done cooking they retrieve it back and then they dip it into a sauce that they made themselves and then they eat it and it's a really good time because it's great to just have all of your friends and family all in one place it's really interactive and incredibly social as well and I love it because a lot of my favorite memories with my family members is usually during hot pot and this is something that I brought into New York since I've moved here from Hong Kong where I like to share it with my husband his family and also our really close friends here as well so for tonight I'm going to be hosting a dinner party for a group of our really close friends here in New York and it's gonna be a really good time okay so so first things first is once you've set a date and a number of people who have confirmed for your dinner party, first thing I would do is go grocery shopping. So on my end, I'm gonna use Instacart and I usually like to use two different grocery stores for hot pot specifically. The first one is H Mart, which is a Korean supermarket, um, but they have really, really great selection of pre-cut meats that I love to use for hot pot because they're really quick to cook and super delicious. And then I also like to go to a Chinese supermarket store. I think it's called GW Supermarket, but they have a really, really wide variety of produce. They have fish balls. They also sell seafood by the pound. So this time I got some shrimps and I also got some frozen oysters as well. And I also like to get some soup bases as well. So the ones that I typically go for is something that is non-spicy and then another one that is spicy, just because you want to make sure that you cater to everyone who's coming to your hot pot party. I think ultimately what you want for your hot pot party is to make sure that you have some type of a protein, some type of a vegetable, a starch, and seafood as well. So as long as you have any types of food that is within these four categories, I think you'll have a very successful hot pot. Okay, so now that I bought all of my groceries from Instacart, it's gonna take a few hours until they get here. So what I'm gonna do first is actually prep the apartment. So what I always do is vacuum the floor first. You also wanna just make sure you wipe down all of your surfaces. I also like to just light up a candle as well beforehand. You usually an hour before guests arrive just to like set the mood and have a very you know comfy cozy type of vibe in the apartment so now that my groceries have arrived I'm actually going to start prepping them wash all of your produce and cut your vegetables if needed here I'm cutting my bok choy my carrots um, and also my enoki mushrooms as well so then what I like to do is bring out my serveware and see what I'm going to be using for my dinner party and then of course I'm going to bring out my hot plate and also my actual hot pot so I got both of these on Amazon and I can definitely link them down below for you to check out the pot that I got a lot me to boil two different broths at the same time uh, because usually I like to have one for spicy and then the other one for non-spicy and then what I'll do is I'll get my post-it notes and I'll write down every single dish that I'm going to be serving uh, usually for my dinner parties I do it family style so it's just easier that way then I can assign which dish goes onto which serving dish um, just so that I have everything prepped and laid out in my head so once I have all of my serving dishes ready and I've also prepared all of my produce and I've washed everything. What I'll do is I'll actually put everything that I'm going to be serving for hot pot onto its assigned servingware. I'll saran wrap it and then put it back into the fridge or the freezer, whichever one is necessary for each dish. So another crucial part of hot pot is the sauce station. I think everyone does it differently, but the way how my family does it is essentially we have a sauce station where we lay out all of the different sauces. So soy sauce, vinegar, oyster sauce, all types of chili oils and chili sauces. We usually have minced garlic, green onions, sesame seeds as well. I usually just open my fridge and see what sauces I have and just take everything out and put it there. The sauce station is really important because you allow each of your guests to essentially grab a bowl and make their own sauces for hot pot because this is going to be their own dipping sauce 
for while they're cooking their food. So in terms of utensils that are specific to hot pot, there's always going to be two very important ones. The first one is two different pairs of chopsticks for every one of your guests. So one pair of chopsticks is for the raw food and then the second pair is for eating. And then the next part is having a, I think it's called a basket spoon, but essentially they are these wired spoons that look like little baskets where you can dump whatever food that you want to cook into the broth and then you can just easily pull it out. So now that you're all prepped and ready to go, all you have to do is wait for your guests to arrive. So once all of your guests have arrived and we're all ready to eat, typically what I'll do is I'll gather everyone around the dining table first and explain how hot pot works and then just have a great time. So now that you're all ready to host your first hot pot party, I just wanna share six tips and tricks that I've learned in terms of hot pot and also hosting dinner parties at home. So the first one is to set your table in the mornings. So setting your table up in the morning just really sets you up for success. It saves you a lot of time and energy as well um, so that while you're cooking and prepping everything in your mind, you already know that the table is ready to go for when guests are about to arrive. So the second thing that I would do is to make sure that you have all of your serving ware assigned in advance. Once you've decided what kind of dishes you'll be making, that every dish has a serving ware accompanied with. So the third one is to ask your guests to bring either a dessert or a drink. This is definitely very normal to do. Um, for me, I think it's pretty standard practice as well. Well, it'll just of course make your life a lot easier because you don't even have to think about drinks or dessert and it's really exciting to just see what everyone brought so the fourth one I already mentioned it earlier but it is to turn your AC on around two hours before your guests arrive so that your apartment or your house is at a comfortable temperature by the time they come and also to light a candle maybe around an hour before everyone starts to arrive too just so that you can get the fragrance and the aroma out around your apartment and also it helps to set the mood so the fifth one is to have some type of a background music playing at all times um, during the night so my go-to is usually jazz it's always good to have either jazz or lo-fi hip-hop have a playlist where you can keep it at a moderate volume and is super chill so my last tip is to save the cleaning for either when everyone is gone or let someone else do it. So for me, I'm very lucky. My husband always does the dishes and it's just his way of saying thank you for me doing all of the cooking, which I'm more than happy to do. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are inspired to start a hot pot party at your own home. Hot Pot is one of my absolute favorite memories ever with my family members and it's just such a fun social and also heartwarming time. So if you need any help with Hot Pot, I hope this video helped you. It would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for all of my future content. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon again. Have a wonderful day. Bye!